Hello guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, again, today in this in this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own lab exercise, how you can set up your own lab environment on your own laptop or desktop. In my previous sessions, I explained about uh, a rack setup with the ASM a grid infrastructure installed using grid user. It's a two node rack. How you can download this one and then how you can set up your own lab on your laptop or desktop, I explained that. And also I explained about a two node rack setup with ASM grid infrastructure installed with your grid user and then database created with your Oracle user. So this is a ready lab. Uh, that also explained how you can download this and how you can set up your own lab on your own laptop or desktop. In this particular today's session, I'm going to explain about this third one, uh, the rack setup uh, with your ASM cluster we set up and then the database ready setup using Oracle user. So Oracle is a single user who is going to where we are, you, we have installed ESM and database using that Oracle user. And these are like, these three are all like ready lab machines. All are like two node rack machines, two node cluster where rack setup readily available on our Google Drive. You just need to download them. And then you just need to use your Oracle uh, VM virtual box and then you can set up your own lab. Just need to click on this one and then directly download it to your local desktop or laptop. Uh, I already downloaded it just to avoid the time delay. So rack setup, uh, with ASM and database configured with our Oracle user. So just need to download that one. Once you download is done, just extract that one, uh, extract here. The moment you extract it, you'll get this rack set up and then go inside that. And you will have this disk one, disk two, and disk three. And then disk uh, one underscore, uh, disk one and that one underscore two and disk one underscore three. These one, two, three, these three are like one GB each disk. You can see like this is one GB disk and this one is like another one GB disk and this is like another one GB disk. Combining all these three disks, I formed OCR disk group. And then this is my 20 GB disk where I formed my data disk group. And then I have one more disk called disk three, which is of 10 GB disk. With that, I formed my record disk group. So these are your uh, shared disk between your both the nodes, both the rack nodes. I have Oracle lab one and Oracle lab two. Those are like two, two of my rack nodes. And then uh, both the rack nodes are like, uh, both the rack nodes are like having this common shared disk so that you can create your own disk groups, right? Like you know, by using this disk one, one underscore two and one underscore three, combining these three disks together, I formed OCI disk group to store my voting disk and OCR file. And then this disk two, which is 20 GB disk, I created a data disk group from this one. And then this disk three, which is of 10 GB disk, I formed a record disk group using this disk group, using this disk. So these are your common shared disk between your Oracle lab one and Oracle lab two. Oracle lab one and Oracle lab two are your, uh, uh, your uh, two of the cluster nodes. So once this unzip is done right now, Oracle lab one is going on. After that, it will unzip that Oracle lab two, and then we can quickly set up the lab using your Oracle VM virtual box. All right, so still going on Oracle lab one. Right now you can see Oracle lab one is just unzipped and then it will start now Oracle lab two. That's your second cluster node. Right, you can see your Oracle lab 2 is getting unzipped here now. Once that is done, we can ready to set up our lab. Right, it's almost done, unzip is almost done. Uh, yeah, here you go. Oh, you got all the shared disk. You got your Oracle lab 1, Oracle lab 2. Let's go ahead and copy this path where you unzipped. Just copy that path. Go to your Oracle VM virtual box. Click on this plus button or go to this machine. Click on this add button here and then go to that particular path and then you can add your Oracle lab one, which is this blue color here. Select that one, open. And then similarly machine, click on this add button here and then go to the same path where you unzipped. And then you will get this Oracle lab two. Again, this blue color one, select that Oracle lab two, open here. The moment you add it, your all the disks are like inaccessible because these will be pointing to your the source where you created these VMs, right? It will be pointing to your uh, that source path. So what you need to do, you need to click on this. Uh, just remove all of them. Just go to uh, here and then uh, you know choose this car. Like go to this Oracle Lab One setting and then remove all of these three disks, five disks, whatever you are seeing it here. Go to your storage, whatever this five disk like inaccessible. Just select here, remove and then remove, 
remove 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 like you can remove from all of those three disks and then similarly from your oracle lab to also settings and then storage and then remove all of them one two three four five like all are removed now just save it now you removed all the disks now and then go to your uh, file here uh, virtual media manager and then again this all this this are completely accessible just go ahead and remove them okay remove them and then remove here and then remove here okay this one remove here. like right now you removed everything and then these still these are like not needed just go ahead and remove these two also this one and this one just remove them right now um, you got your oracle lab one oracle lab two and now you can re add all those disk whatever disk you are seeing this five disk you can re add them by just clicking add button here add button and then go to that path and then you can add disk one and then again add your disk two and then again click add button and disk 3 again one more time click add and then your disk 2 once again add last disk as your disk file like you got you added your uh, just expand here you added your all of the disk here and then just make sure that these all disk this five disk whatever you added should be in shareable mode click here shareable apply second disk make it shareable apply and then the third disk make it shareable apply and then your disk 2 make it shareable apply and then disk 3 make it shareable again and then apply so just verify once again disk 1 is shareable disk 1 underscore 2 is shareable disk 1 underscore 3 is shareable disk 2 is shareable and disk 3 is shareable all are shareable and then close it so once you do that one next go back to your oracle vm oracle lab one go to settings you can add the disk back again here storage uh, click on this controller sata click on this plus button you can add all of these disks disk 1 and then plus button disk 2 plus button again disk 3 again plus button disk 2 and then disk 3 so all five disks are added here click okay and then go to your oracle lab 2 again setting and then go to your storage again here go to this controller sata and then click on this plus button here and again you add it your disk 1 again disk 1 underscore 2 and then again plus button disk 1 underscore 3 again plus button your disk 2 and then again plus button your disk 3 so you have to add those five disk back to your oracle lab 1 and oracle lab 2 click okay and then now you can start your uh, vms your oracle lab 1 is here and which is getting started now right your oracle lab 1 is getting started here similarly go and then start your oracle lab 2 as well this is your oracle lab 1 and then This is your Oracle Lab Two. Right, so I'll just put side by side. Your Oracle Lab Two is here. Your Oracle Lab One is here. Right, your Oracle Lab One and Oracle Lab Two both are getting ready here. Right, so your Oracle Lab One is ready. right you can log in with oracle user or malik user or you can log in with your root user using the password provided right so get log in here and again similarly your oracle lab 2 as well just log in with your root user or oracle user or whatever the users you have available with the valid password right so once you logged in uh, just open your terminal here Okay, this window if it's not fitting here, you can just click on this view button and then click on this auto resize display. The moment you resize display, your automatically your display will be set here. The moment you make it maximize, automatically your display will be like maximized. Make it minimize, automatically your display will be like minimized here. Same thing with uh, your Oracle Lab One as well. Lab One as well. Like if you make it maximize and then again go back here view and then auto resize guest display, automatically it will set your display here. And make it minimize, automatically your display will be set here. Right, so you can modify whatever you want. Uh, just make it maximize here once again. Right, so now you can minimize once again. Uh, your display will like auto adjust automatically. Just do PS F N E F a grip S mon, and then you can see your A S M mon started here. Go to your Oracle Lab two. Uh, again PS F N E F a grip S mon, 
uh, your work, your ASM is getting started here. And then do IF config here. And then the moment you do IF config, you see a lot of IP addresses and all those things. The first, very first interface that ENP0S3, the IP address is 192.168.1.28. Just copy that IP address. And then you can connect using that IP address uh, to from your putation. Similarly, on node 2 as well, IF config, uh, go to your first interface that ENPS03, that 192.168.1.129. These are the two public IPs. You can use them for accessing these VMs you are using your putty sessions. I'll just connect with my putty session here and then click on this session, SSH 198. Right, you can see it's asking for login username root and then password you can use oracle user or that malik user whatever password whatever user id and password you can use them just do ps if any f grip s one here and you can see your asm one is running your rack db1 instance is running here and similarly connect your uh, second instance that's one nine one twenty nine is the ip address for that second node like you can see 129 is the ip address for that second node go to again mobile x term click on this session ssh and then 129 Again, it's asking for root username or Oracle username and password. Log in with your root or Oracle user. Right, so you connected your second node here. Do again PSFNEF a grep smon. You can see your ASM2 is running here. Rack DB2 is running here. So that's the simplest way you can uh, make use of this ready labs and then you can set up uh, your rack set up in your laptop or desktop within few seconds and then you can use them. So if I do dot or INV and then set the environment to my plus ASM, uh, CRS CTL, CRS CTL stat resource hyphen T. And then I can see all the cluster resources are up and running here. And then you can do CRS CTL stat resource hyphen init. All your cluster demons, you can see all your cluster demons, your ASM cluster interconnect CRF, CRSD, CSSD, CSD monitor, CTSSD, Discmon, EVMD, and then GIPCD, GPNPD, MDNSD, and storage. All these cluster demons are up and running here. And then uh, even you can uh, log in with that particular, if you, if you can check your ETC or a tab and you can see your ASM is set here. And then your uh, your uh, rack database, the moment you do PSF and EFG PSMON, your rack database, rack CDB2 here, and then on node one, again, do PSF and EFG PSMON. And you have rack DB1 here, cat ETC or a tab. And then you, you can see your ASM is set here and then your Rack DB Oracle Home is set here. And then you do again second PS and EF grep SMON. And then your ASM and Oracle both are installed with your uh, Oracle user. Now log into Oracle user and then the set the environment to your Rack DB1 dot or INV. And then set the environment to your Rack DB1. And then do SRV CTL status database hyphen D Rack DB. And then the moment you run the status using SRU CTL, you can say rack db one instance, rack db second instance, both are running on your Oracle Lab 1 and Oracle Lab 2. And then even you can connect to your database. And then you can do any of those operations. Select name, uh, comma, open underscore mode from VDL database. So your rack db is just, which is in read write mode. Even you can set the environment to your ASM dot or INV. And then you can set the environment to your plus ASM1. Either you can work on node one or node two because this is the rack database. You can operate it on many of the node. And you can do SQL plus slash sys ASM. So you can connect your ASM instance using sys ASM. Or you can, you can use uh, ASM CMD hyphen P. Sorry, ASM CMD hyphen P, which will go to your ASM command line. And then do LSDG. And you can see your data, OCR, and Rico. So OCR is. Uh, 3GB disk, which will be like 3GB disk group. OCR is a disk group, which is like made up of these three disk, 1GB, 1GB, and 1GB. Disk 1 and 1 underscore 2 and 1 underscore 3. Using these three disk, uh, we created our OCR disk group, which is of 3GB. And then using this uh, disk 2, which is of 20GB disk, uh, you can see this is a 20GB disk, which is made up of my data disk group. And then another one is like disk 3, which is of 10GB disk. I created my record disk group using that 10GB disk. Right, so you can uh, even uh, do LS and then go inside your data and then do LS and you can see React DB here and do LS siphon L. You will see all those uh, your PDBs and your control file, data file, online read log files, and parameter file, password file, temp file, everything you can see it here. Even you can go to your uh, plus Rico and then LS. You have like you are in now record disk group and then go inside your React DB here 
and then do ls hyphen l you can see your control files your online read log files you know all those whatever needed everything you can see it over here and now i can exit here and one more time i can set it back to my uh, uh set it back to my rack db1 and then uh, sql plus slash as sys dba and then you can do show pdbs and you can see one pdb is already installed with your rack db so it's a rack db with the container database so you can create your n number of pdbs inside that and you can do your operations and you can do any of the lab exercise using these uh, ready labs which are readily available uh, in our google drive so that's a simple introduction about the lab a lab any of these lab you can use them and then you can uh, practice it on your own laptop and desktop all right guys so that's a quick intro about our labs and then we'll see uh, in in our next topic with the next content thank you guys